Hello. All right. Are we live now? Hi, Joseph. How are you? Hello, Yan Ting. How's your dinner just now? <laughs> good, good, good. I had a very light dinner because I realized, right, it's like it's like going to uh to speak at a seminar or in a classroom setting. You cannot eat so much as well. If not, later you know you feel like you feel a bit sluggish. So I had something like. Yeah. Mm. So are you excited? We have oh, we have six audience now. Yeah. Say hi. Say hi. Hello. I need to go into Facebook, right? I'm now still at stream. Yeah. One moment, ah. Uh. Yeah. Hello. For those who are hi, here. Everyone. Yeah. Say hi. Let us know who you are, who are here now. Oh, Wesker, oh, Richie. Yeah. Hello, Wesker. Hello, Richie. Thank you for coming. Wow, we have 10 audience now. Great. Wow, thank you so much for your support. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. All right, so, well, today, okay, as the number is increasing, yeah, so um, let us actually start uh -huh. off by saying that, you know, why why do we uh, do this, uh, how to create compelling video at home, yeah, and also how do I, uh, why do I invite Yan Ting over here? So as you know, over here, Yan Ting is the founder of uh, 11 August Media, and she has been using this circuit breaker, right, by doing like a lot of very compelling video, right, to actually motivate people to you know start taking action, mindset shift, motivation, and even for selling off her um, services for her business. So that's why I'm very happy to have Yen Ting here with me today. So thank you, Yen Ting, for coming here. Thanks, Joseph, for inviting me. So this is my first Facebook Live, and I find it I find it very excited, lah. Yeah, I'm excited myself, and I think uh, it's not as scary as I thought it would be because as compared to speaking on a stage where you can see a lot of faces right now, the interaction is just between us. Yeah. Yes. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Albert. Hi, Dong Hai. Hi, Robin. Yeah, Christina. Jennifer. Thanks for coming. Wow, we have 17 audiences now. Wow, wow, wow. wow. Okay. Nice, nice. My friend, my friend is asking me for the link. Just a wow. Yeah, just send them the link. Hi, so for those who are here, hi, Christina. Yes, hi, Edwin. Hi, my cousin, Jin Hao, <laughs> Joel. Wow, okay, so, oh, we have 20 audience now. Okay, so, well, I just want you all to do me a favor. If any of you feel that, right, how to create a compelling video by using just a mobile phone like this, right, is actually helpful for any of your friends or even any of your loved ones or even um, business partners, right, to actually have this skill set please send this link to them. Uh, so get more people to be here and we really, really like to actually provide value and share with uh, more people, all right? Yeah. So, oh, okay. Hi, Christina. Hello, Esther. Wow, very nice. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, thank you, Christina. All right. So, I'm sure well, get back on my feet. Hmm. Okay, yeah. so great. All right, so Yen Ting, uh, let's kickstart the Hi. sharing, all right, shall we? Yep. Okay, good. So today we are here actually wanting to share with you more about, you know, in this circuit breaker period, right? Well, a lot of things is being disrupted in a way whereby business are no longer as usual as, you know, you are just waiting for referrals or with, waiting for people or footwork or human traffic, right? So one of the most effective way of reaching out, as you know, I represent digital marketing, right? You will be using video to actually send out a message to your target audience. So that's the reason why today I have invited Yen Ting over here, uh, founder of 11, 11 August Media, to share with you more on some of the tips and strategies that she has. Okay, so it's real life and tested. All right, and so without further ado, I would like to kickstart this. So again, if you feel that this is something that is actually very uh, worth it for your friends or for your loved ones or for your business partner to know, share them the link, get them here. And we are very, very happy to have more people here with us tonight. All right, so we shall kickstart today's sharing. Go. Yes. Okay. So as mentioned, hi Kelly, hi Joel, hi Wilson, hi Jack. Wow, please say hello. Okay, so we have 23 people here and the number is still growing. Thank you so much for being here today. Today the topic is about how to create compelling home video that sells. So as you know, I have actually uh, very happy to invite Yan Ting. 
Yan Ting is actually the founder of 11 August Media to share with you some of the tips and strategies that she has been doing videos during this circuit breaker period. Yep. Hi, Joseph. Thanks for having me here today. So um, I think today is just a simple sharing session to really, uh, you know, like Joseph and myself, we have started creating some videos since the start of the year. I think Joseph started earlier than me. So I realized that there are a lot of uh, things that we have tried at home during this, uh, you know, seven weeks. Um, tried and tested methods, what are the things that you should do, what are the things that you shouldn't do to save time, uh, etc. Et so we like to pass on all this knowledge with you so that we can fast track your video creation journey so that you don't find that hey, doing videos is actually a chore. It's actually not a chore. It can be something that you probably love it yourself, but you have not discovered yet. So why not give it a try, right? Yeah. So I think today we just want to uh, tell you a little bit about the agenda as well. What are the things that we are going to cover? So uh, I will start off with uh, sharing my journey and then followed by Joseph. And then Joseph is going to touch a little bit uh, more about the mindset because we, we realize that, you know, when it comes to video creation, it's really not so much about doing the task itself, doing the shooting itself, but it's more towards the mindset, you know. Mm. And then uh, what are the things that we should avoid? And also, uh, if we do need any equipment, they are just really simple equipment, which you already own as well, you know, your mobile phone, uh, you know, you can download some mobile apps. So we are going to share all these uh, things with you under a special bonus so if you do share do stay with us till the end of this uh sharing session we're going to unleash everything that we know today yeah, 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 yeah. you know just now when you're sharing about mobile phone right do you actually know that right each of us we are holding to one million dollars to each of us at least okay so your mobile phone can help you to bring in a lot of wealth because this is all the resources that you need a mobile phone so if holding one mobile phone right is one million dollar right oh so i have two <laughs> two million dollars here yeah, so well, just some joke to actually lighten up the mood. All right, so um, for those who are here, well, thank you, Eric. Eric is here. Hi, Grayson. Well, very happy to have uh, so many of you here today with us, and we shall share with you on how to create compelling video by using just mobile phone. All right, so we okay. shall kick start in the thing. So, all right, are you excited? I yeah, I am excited. Yes, so then think if you're excited, I'm also very excited. So can we get all the audiences over here? Right? Tell us you are excited. Type in excited this way into the comment section below so that we know that you are as excited as us. Yes, type in excited, excited. All right. Help us to bring up a mood. All right. So we shall kick start. Okay, so a slight introduction will be sharing about uh Yan Ting's journey with you. Okay. So um, when, okay, if we, I were to talk about my video journey, right, it actually uh, traces all the way back to last year of April. Yeah, so I did this particular video for my company. It was like a corporate video where you have to walk and talk, right, within one shot. So it's like a Vogue style thing. And um, the, the whole theme of this video is, you know, five questions with me where I will share more about my, my business, my intention of starting this business, etc. And I have to say it's not easy because you really have to memorize everything and do it within one shot, even though the video is only one and a half minutes. So it's definitely not easy. I NG for nine times. Yeah. And also the thing I realized, right, um, for this particular video, I actually had a professional videographer to do it for me. So I engaged videographer, I engaged sound man, but the, the quality was good. But I realized one thing about such a professional setup is that you couldn't be, it's difficult to be consistent doing this because of the, 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 the amount of money that you have invited, invest, right? So I realized hey, for this kind of production, I probably could afford to do this right now once every three months. Therefore, it's not consistent. So um, that's why we are we, our motive right now is to you know get people to start producing videos from home, right? Yeah. Okay. So the second video that I did for myself was uh, this video that I you know I did a sharing session with the home office uh, entrepreneur entrepreneur uh, community with HDB. So this for this particular uh, video, right, I got someone to follow me around and document my 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 whole uh, sharing session there. So it is something that you can do as well if you really want to uh, start out first. But the thing about this is you need to get out there. Right now we are confined at home. We are not possible. It's not possible for us to document uh, anything that we do outside. So, but this is something that anyone can KIV as well. I I, I feel after first of June, yeah. And then the third video that I did, right, <laughs> was for Joseph. You know, I went for his uh, Hyper Growth uh, Academy course on Sales Funnel. And then at the end of the two days, I did a testimonial for him. And I also realized from this, right, if anyone is, you know, you don't want to make a lot of mistakes for your first video, it is always good to do it for your friend. Use your friend as a stepping stone, as a test day, you know. Uh, 
offer them, you know, hey, um, Joseph, you know, um, maybe Joseph is a property agent right now. I just take an example. Joseph, you know, you help me to rent a very nice apartment. I would like to give you a video testimony. I also, you know, just try out, you know, test my guts. Can I do that for you? Nobody will say no. So why not give that a try first? Yeah. I think what you're saying is that, you know, regardless what, right? Take action. Take action is more important, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. And then from the time I did the video testimony for Joseph, I met in December last year. And then it took me about five months later to create all these videos. And it's all because of COVID-19. So I have to say, right, uh, I am quite contented with myself. Lah. Like for these past seven days, uh, seven weeks, right? I created seven videos. Um, you know, I work from home. So creating videos is actually uh, something that I have in my to-do list, my, my, my New Year resolution. So I am uh, I'm happy that I actually, you know, took the first step out to get this started. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Great. Well, I can see from here that uh, there are more and more people joining in. There are 35 people now already and still going. Uh, thank you for Brian for joining. Oh, Dominic, my friend. Yeah. Dominic, yeah Sylvester, Larry. Yeah. Gwen, Eric. Oh, Gabriel. Okay. So welcome. Welcome. We'll be sharing with you more on some of these uh, personal experiences with uh, videos, right? So with videos that actually can sell and also send a message out to your target audience. So thank you for sharing. And next, I'll be sharing about mine. So as you can see, like what um, Kian Ting has mentioned, right? I've been working and playing with videos, right? Uh, since some years back. Okay. So what do I started with? Actually, initially, because I'm actually a business person, so I like to actually use video to share with more people. As you know, if you're using video, right, it's better than just using, you know, like, text and also picture. When you have video, you can actually project the kind of energy and the kind of excitement that you have for people. So it evokes a lot of emotions, as you can see over here, right? I have this uh, inner and external battle with myself, which I actually share during this circuit breaker period. And I'll also share that, you know, how to create a video that can sell. Okay, like one of my friends, one of my buddies actually gave me a birthday present. I also used a video to actually share my thanks with him, so on and so forth. So these are some of the things, even if you can see at the right hand corner, right, do this for your business now. I was doing this uh, somewhere in about, um, before the circuit breaker kick in, right, I was actually on uh, adventure camp. So I was on this, um, speedboat and I just take out my mobile phone and I start actually taking this video. So I was actually videoing the current situation, right, that, you know, circuit breaker will affect certain businesses and that is actually to help businesses to be able to pivot and also to be able to strengthen in terms of their mindset on how they can actually adapt, embrace and change with this situation. So that's pretty much about my experiences with videos. Okay, so also at the end of this thing, right, well, many of you might feel that yeah, what we are saying, right, is something that, you know, probably we have experienced and, and probably some is actually our uh, theory, right? But I want to assure you that this is not just theory. Why? Because, right, I've helped my friend over here, Andy Tan, who is a home chef, to grow from zero to hero. I'll show you the numbers in a while, all right? So this will be the bonus sharing. All right, guys, so you all must stay till the end because the we are going to share actually a uh a couple of bonuses, not just one or two, but I think we have at least about three uh, in the pipeline, okay? So um, I think before we start video, right, like it, it goes for anything that we do in life, you know, before we start something, we want to have a strategy, not, I won't say a strategy, like at least a plan, you know? So when it comes to doing videos, we want to know who are you doing this for? So it basically is very much like marketing, we want to know the demographics, who are you doing this for? And what is it that you want to share? Is it, uh, you want to share something about your passion, your hobbies? or something related to your industry or your business yeah and then um also we need to know right how much time we can afford to set aside to do videos because right now we are at home we feel comfortable we can afford more time to do videos but you know once COVID 19 is over we have to tell ourselves you know do i want to set aside uh, 30 minutes for this every week or do i want to set aside, set aside two hours every for every you know two, two hours for every month just to do videos for that particular month so you need to check with yourself as well and then um Basically, what we are going to share with you today, right, uh, can be done with uh, little to no budget. With, with to no budget, actually, you can do this on your phone yeah, without any money. But of course, you know, if you feel that you want to invest into something that looks more presentable, more professional, you can do this with very, very little money. And we are going to share with you how you can do that. 
Yes. Wow, Yen Ting is very excited. <laughs> All right, so uh, Yen Ting over here, right? Uh, one of our friends, Eric, asked, uh, does teleprompter help? So I believe, right, Eric, this question will be covered in a while. So we will actually uh, share yeah. more in our six steps, okay? Six steps. So if you want to know the six steps, right, on creating this uh, highly compelling and effective video, right, type six in the comment now, six. Okay, All right, please type six. And also, yes, Gwendolyn say yes, video are so essential, okay? Gwen is actually my creative uh, director, so she actually wow. helped us to make very effective videos for our company that have produced like more than seven figure for the last few years. So thank you, Gwen, for being here. Melody is also here. Hey, even, even my mom is also here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, we have 42 people here, live audience. Thank you so much. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so we shall continue. Okay. So, you know, um, I guess for everyone, right, not just uh, probably, uh, let's ask the audience, uh, who have stage fright? Because I think uh, speaking to a camera, right, is pre you know, creating a video is very much like going up on stage. So who has stage fright? Share with us. Type in yes if you have stage fright. Because uh, I've actually done some research and, you know, people were saying, you know, these researchers were saying people actually have uh, stage fright, right? They are more scared of stage fright than death. So Joseph, being a public speaker, right, a profit speaker, how will you how will you say this? Do you still have stage fright even you know right now going up on stage to to to, to present? Yeah, actually, I think stage fright is right. It definitely um, exists in everyone. So it's only depending on the perspective. Yeah. So like for most people, they are afraid that you know um, a lot of people they are actually looking at them and judging them. Well, my, my kind of stage fright uh, is a bit slightly different. Uh. So let me share with you. My stage fright is when I'm standing on stage, right? And I see that there are no audience below. Uh, then I'm very scared. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So the thing about this stage fright thing, right? I feel that when it comes to video creation, you can always have... Uh, because a lot of people feel that I'm, I'm afraid I say the wrong thing. But it's okay because when you do a video, you can ha always have a script. So there's nothing to be afraid of. And then the second thing is a lot of people are concerned about how the rest are going to judge them when they post after they post this video. And then I realized, right, you have to tell yourself, right, for you, for your courage to be able to, and you know, for you to be able to take that first step to make videos for the courage that you have, no one can judge you, you know, because people who are just down there looking at what you're doing, they are, you are one way, you're one level above them. So don't be afraid of how people look at you. In fact, right, you should be happy that, you know, you are the first one taking the first mover advantage while the rest are still doing nothing. So don't care about the naysayers. And then uh, the third thing people will say is English is not my first language. And I truly think, right, that shouldn't be something that should hinder us because I'm going to show you two examples right now. Uh, yeah. Wow, Eric over here say six of june is his birthday happy birthday in advance yeah <laughs> kelly say some people cannot comment why uh, i'm not sure maybe you want to escape and come in again my friends there's, no, there's no privacy or restriction yeah you should be able to comment okay and then christina say that no stage oh. fright wow depend on how big is the stage okay <laughs> so for for me is that i feel that the more the merrier uh, the more audience that's watching you hey hi joshua Hi, Lom Sang. Hi, Josh. Yeah. Okay. Well, okay. all right. So let's let's continue. Yeah. All right. So um, I'm going to touch a little bit about uh, this uh, speaker that I came across on social media. His name is Brian Cha from Hong Kong. And in fact, he grew up in Hawaii. You know, that then they speak English, right? But he is always doing his public speeches, you know, doing his coaching in Cantonese. So English can be well can be very well his first language as well, but he's not using English, he's using Cantonese. So the thing is, right, you can always use your mother tongue to find your niche, your, your people who are willing to follow you for your content. So don't worry about the language part. Oh, good. Yeah, and then uh, we have this, uh, um, he's a financial advisor based in Singapore and his name is Jay. I think if I'm not, his name is Jay. And I can, it's very interesting because I came across uh, his account, right, and I'm like, hey, okay, uh, because it's quite rare to see insurance agents doing their own branding video. So he caught my attention. And then I realized he spoke Mandarin. So he talked about COVID-19. How can you be uh, covered during COVID-19 with your policies, etc. And I realized it's so interesting because clearly, I mean, Mandarin cannot be his mother tongue, right? So probably his third language. And then he's using his third language to do videos. And I realized, you know, if uh, an Indian financial advisor is using Mandarin to deliver whatever message that he, he wants to deliver, what is it that is stopping us? Yeah, correct. Actually, I fully agree with you. Well, being in this uh, 
middle line for quite a number of years, right? I feel that your accent, right, or even like even your articulation, right? Of course, it's good if you can actually um be be heard by them. But the thing is that most importantly is the message that you are trying to bring across. Is it clear? So if it's clear enough, right, the rest of the things are all just techniques that you can actually perfect along the way. Okay, uh, just a moment. Christina is saying she is awesome. Can use mother tongue. <laughs> and then she said she wants to use uh, Singlish. So I hey, think, right? Like, yeah, please, please continue. Yeah. Yeah. So I think, yeah, you can always give it a try, but uh, it's just like um, people doing Facebook Live, they speak Singlish, they speak Hokkien. So you should just try out and find your, your uh, what is, what resonates with your audience. Uh. Hey, talking about that, right, uh, Christina and Yen Ting, the thing is that if you all know, right, there is actually this guy called Wang Lei, right? He's actually with the uh, Ge Tai and also with uh, Jack Neo. Okay. So what he do is that currently during this circuit breaker, he's actually selling fish, selling fish on Facebook Live. Uh. Wow. When he do his Facebook Live, uh, at least uh, 20 to 30,000 live viewers that's actually watching him. Okay. But one of the things that uh, his unique selling proposition that people like, uh, okay, is that he like to use um, vulgarity or profanity language online. Okay. But there are people who like that right so but of course no i'm not trying to say that you should you know use that but again what you want to do is that as long as you are authentic you are genuine you find your own anger right or persona to actually reach out to people so that's actually perfectly fine similar for facebook live or even in videos right if you're taking a video of yourself so don't need to copy just be yourself be be someone that you want to be all right all right great so the last self-doubt that I realize a lot of people always have is that they say, I don't have professional setup. I don't have a professional team to do the videos for me. And I realized, right, you don't need to start off with SLR. You can always start off with your phone first. Right now, iPhone is so good. Samsung Note, I have Samsung Note, then it takes super clear quality video. So just get started with that first. Because you also want to ask yourself, right, hey, uh, do you really want to do this for long term? If you don't, then why do you want to spend money to buy an SLR first? So start off with your phone first. So how about you, Joseph? What do you think about this? Well, I think nowadays, right, if you realize like what Yan Ting mentioned, right, most of our phones have like more than 10, 15, 16, 20 megapixel, right? It's really good enough to take a clear uh, video. So many of the phones, they are going to like um, HD or even ultra HD or 4K. So no worries, okay? Don't have to really go and invest on buying a DSLR or SLR, okay? Just using your phone alone can take very fantastic video. If you can see, right, most of the videos that I post on my own personal social media profile, right, they are all taken by my own phone and I do my own edit. That's the reason why today we are sharing with you, right, how easy is it to do this on your own without using any professional help? But of course, I'm not talking about, you know, like all the professional videographer must go out job plan. I'm just saying that if you are doing it as a hobby, if you are doing it as something that you really want to share right, more frequently, then this is something that you can be looking forward to. Okay, great. So there, for, for me, there are only six simple steps to make a, a relatively good quality photo from home. So the first step is to actually come up with ideas. And then the thing is, I realize some people can say, I don't know what to speak. I don't, I don't have any topic to talk about. You don't need to to wreck your brain and go through, you know, I need to search on Google Trends, I need to, you know, uh, watch through uh, what people are doing and then try to modify from that. You don't have to just take ideas from your daily life inspiration. So what I do is if uh, something interesting happened in my life or there are some takeaways that I, I, I can uh, get from certain people who, you know, who I encounter in my life, I will just jot them down in my phone. Yeah. So you can just easily jot them down uh, on your notepad in your phone. And then, uh, then there, there you have your idea. I call it a video ideas dump or the content bucket. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Then the next thing, right, comes to the script writing. Um, I think somebody asked a question. Eh? Oh, somebody asked. What, what, what? There's a question right just now that Joseph, you said you we will come to that. That is uh, that the part, not the script writing, right? No, I. What I see over here is uh, the SLR. So okay. SLR or DSLR is those like, you know, the, the professional of um, um, camera, the professional camera. Yeah. Okay. So don't, don't need to worry if you are not using that now, it's all right. Yeah. Okay, when it comes to script writing, I realized right, I've tried before uh, with script and without script because I thought, oh, the first video I had a script, you know, I use, oh, teleprompter. Somebody asked about teleprompter, right? Yes, teleprompter, yes, Eric. So the first video that I did, right, I had a script. I put it up on my teleprompter um, app. 
and then I use the front camera to shoot. And I realized, right, with the teleprompter, I look so I look so rigid, you know, my eyes were just fixated on reading the script. So so I I it depends on personal preference. For me, it, it, it doesn't work for me. Yeah. So but if you you are not sure whether teleprompter will be helpful for you because you don't really uh want to memorize, you can give give that a try first and see how, yeah. But it doesn't work yeah. for me. And then oh. uh scripting, mm, uh so, I have tried with huh? Yeah, yeah. Correct. Can you please that? Yeah, I have tried with and without script. I realized right without a script, right, maybe I'm not as eloquent as Joseph because he is a public speaker, but I'm not. So for me, right, when I did a video without script, I took so long to shoot the two minutes video. It became one hour. So and then I realized when I have a script, uh, I can shoot uh three four videos in in an hour. So it's always important to have a script. Yeah, and then uh, if you're a beginner, right, try to keep your videos really short. So over here, I have a guideline: keep it within hundred and fifty words. And that will give you a one minute video. And then after you get a bit more seasoned with video creation, and then you try to scale every 50, uh, you know, every five videos to scale 50 words. And then, yeah. So, um, yeah, I think for our social media, the attention span is always there, like, two to three minutes. Like, don't, don't go too long. 150 words for one minute is uh, almost an average of about 2.5 words per second. Like. It's, it's pretty fast. <laughs> yeah okay so like for okay this probably is yen ting lah, okay she's very experienced in this already okay for those um who are not as experienced yet right okay you can try maybe about 120 words per minute so it's about two words per second all right so don't need to actually speak like a bullet train and eric later right we will share with you on the two apps right that we feel that is very good in terms of teleprompting okay so because your phone is only so big right like so as long as you are reading within your phone itself, right, your eyes will not actually waver left and right too much. So people don't know that you're actually reading from teleprompter. So we'll share with you. Stay tuned, all right? Stay, stay tuned. Okay, and then the next thing is to prep yourself for the shoot. Okay, so the thing is, I realized when you're at home, right? I'm talking about the circumstances where we are still under circuit breaker. We can't go out to purchase ring lights. Uh, turn on all the lights in your house, in your room. And then I realized, especially for, maybe for ladies or for, for, for guys, grooming is so important because when you want to create a video right you put in so much effort you don't expect to take it down one week or one month after posting right so it's there for long term you know it, it represents you as a brand as a person so groom yourself well uh do your hair do your makeup like for me i i do some light makeup uh, don't need to be too exaggerating and then for for joseph as you can see he also do his hair as well so it's really grooming is important and uh as for clothings right if you do own a business or you represent your company uh you can put on your uniform like for me this is my company shirt yeah so that's what i do uh. then i don't have to think of what to wear for every video it's always the same <laughs> you think you know uh, eric say the suspense is killing him oh yeah <laughs> we, we like to keep you in suspense huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay so then it comes to the actual shooting actually right the shoot the video shoot is not that tedious uh it will get shorter and shorter as you go along but the, for the first time yes you may find that it's a bit tedious but these are the, this is exactly what the sharing is about. We're going to fast track for you. We're going to tell you exactly what to do so that you can uh, you know, eliminate all the trial and errors. So what I do is I use the back camera of my phone because I've tried before, right? I've tried front and back before. The back one is so much clearer. And uh, although for some people, they say, I would like to see you know, the, my expression. So I prefer to use front camera. You can go ahead and do that. I think it's good to... Uh, uh, to, to try out first and then you can decide for yourself hey, which one is better but what works for me is the back camera and then uh there's one more tip that i want to share with you is you don't need to memorize your script you can use a teleprompter but if you want to look more natural have your script ready on your laptop or on a piece of paper and then uh because we have 120 words right we're saying for one minute um 120 words probably that's about three four paragraphs so every time you want to say a paragraph on the video right just read the paragraph first, memorize, and then you say it out. And then you stop for a while, and then you repeat until the video is over. So uh, definitely you have a lot of pauses and breaks in between, but it's okay because you can always cut that out. So don't worry about that, okay? And then uh, the next thing is when it comes to shooting videos, right? We want to be as efficient as possible. We don't want to take up a lot of our time just doing content. We are not a content producer. Uh, we are business people. You have your own jobs as well. So. What I do is, because I'm a lady, right, I need to do my hair, my makeup. I do three videos in one sitting. Yeah, but I think for guys like Joseph, right, I think it should be okay lah, for you to do one video. <laughs> yeah, but not for me because you know, I don't want to waste too much time on my grooming. So that's what, that's what I follow. I do three videos uh, at, at each time. 
and then if your house is big enough right you can try to alternate the shooting spots because if not then people will see that you're always at the same spot wearing the same shirt uh it's a bit boring yeah so we what we want to try to um eliminate video fatigue as well so if possible yeah change your shooting spots oh okay well we have about 45 people live now with us okay thank you so much for coming again right um I would like to actually get all of you to be excited as us on how video can actually help you to propel in terms of your business in reaching out to your target audience. So if you see that this is something that will be very helpful for your friends, for your family, for your business partner, please share this link with them. We want to get more people over here, you know, to actually have this exchange of ideas for this sharing to reach out to more people. Thank you so much. And I saw that uh, Jennifer has a question uh, that say ring lights shines on your glasses and make you look like you're having a ring on your glasses, right? Yeah. So, okay, maybe I touch a little bit, okay? If yeah. you have more uh, technical questions, we'll answer at the Q&A at the end, all right? So we will have Q&A at the end. Okay, so to answer back to this, right? Of course, if you are thinking about like um, people who are wearing a glass, right? Everything that is light will reflect. So if you are having it directly just in front of you, right? Definitely it will reflect. So if you are talking about um, more comprehensive, but like if you see studio lighting, they don't just shine the light on you. They usually use a uh, light at the at, at the side, right? Okay, or both sides, and then they use a diffuser. So at least it's not so harsh on your face. So including the reflection that you see when you're wearing a glass. So that could be one of the ways on how you are using it. So not directly in front and also at the side using a diffuser. So that might solve your problem, okay? So depending on the distance and also the angle that you are facing. So I hope that you answer your question, Jennifer. Hi, Aloysius, you're here. David, you're here. Wow, a lot of people here. Wow, Paul wow. is also here. <laughs> okay, great, great, great. So we are happy to have all of you here. If you feel that, right, so far, so far, what we have shared, what we have shared, right, uh, there's actually value, right? Please give us a thumbs up, thumbs up, okay? So just put UP, 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 up. Tell us that we are doing something that is actually valuable and you are excited to actually know more about this with us. Yeah, please type up, 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 up. Okay, great, great. All right, so let's move on. Okay, so all right, so after shooting, right, what do we do? We want to um, edit our video. So I feel that even for editing, right, it's good to just prep, prep up first so that when it comes to editing, you don't spend so much time looking for this and that. So what I do is I will cut all the NGs away. And then you have your, uh, so we talk about script writing, right? So that's where you have your subtitles ready as well. You don't have to do another round of, you know, typing because you have to do it. You have to do the typing anyway. And then uh, if you want to level up uh, your videos, right? It's always nice to have a, a background music or you can prepare some two to three stock uh, videos as well, which you can actually obtain from the internet for free. So we are going to share with you where you can get all these resources. So do stay with us till the end, okay? Oh, suspend again, suspend again. <laughs> <laughs> okay so who wants to know more who wants to know about the, all the life experiences right that you know it will save you all the learning curve all the time all the money that you know could have saved right so then he will share with you more okay so after doing the the first part was the ideas generation and then we have the script writing we have the preparation of the surroundings, shooting, editing. The last part, right, is actually optional, but I still do it anyway because I feel I find that, you know, after spending all the effort to do videos, I want my video to look nice. So this last part, right, is like a, it's like a, it's like a, you, you have a present and you are wrapping up the present to make it look nice. So again, it's about packaging your, 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 your videos. So what you can see on the screen right now, right, are actually thumbnails that I designed for my videos. So thumbnails are something that was, inspired uh for me i was inspired by gary v uh, because uh, if you look at his youtube videos he always has very nice uh attention grabbing um thumbnail so uh again like i say right this is optional you can choose to do you can choose to not to do it but uh it's always nice nicer to do this uh, it's again uh, part of market positioning it's part of uh, personal branding as well uh thank you thank you thank you melody Thank you, Christina. Thank you, Eric. Wow, they are very enthusiastic. Say me, 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 more, more, more. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, so we okay. will continue to share with you about designing of the thumbnails. Okay, so when it comes to designing thumbnails, right, you don't need a, a, a professional graphic designer. You can do this uh, by yourself as well, also from your phone. So what I do is you take a screenshot uh, from your video. So, you know, uh, maybe a particular frame where you look nicer, like, you know, you're looking at the camera, you're smiling. So take a screenshot of that. 
And then uh, the result of that thumbnail should be this resolution, 1280 times 720. And when it comes to the design, right, don't go cracking uh, you know, uh, your head. Oh, what, how should I design it? You know, what colors should I use? For me, I just choose Gary V style. Yeah. Okay, so, so is, Christina yeah. asked, right, uh, didn't know need that. Okay, so maybe um, just to give you some context, right? If you are watching um, YouTube videos, right, or even if you actually see before you click into the social media video itself, right? The first image that you see that freeze over there, that is called a thumbnail. So it's almost like the cover of the book before you start uh, reading inside, right? That is the cover that attracts people to look more. So you see if a lot of um, YouTuber stars, influencer, right? They like to design their thumbnail with very colorful kind of um, images and also copywriting that actually want to let people want to click into this. So this is the um, reason of why doing a thumbnail. But of course, if you are just talking about you just want to post on social media or you just want to do a video of thumbnail is optional, like what Yenjing have mentioned. Yeah. Okay. So oh, can, can we go back to the next uh, last slide? I want to ask you a question. So when I say follow Gary V style, right? Can I just check with you how many of you here uh, know who Gary V is? Just type yes. So that we know, we know y'all you are on the same page as us, Gary me, V. Me, 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 me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So for those who know who is Gary V, please type Gary V in the comment section so that we know you are following us. All right. So because the next few slides we will be sharing with you more about this. So okay. Gary V, Gary V, yes. Okay, Hi, great. Alexandra. Nice to have you here. Okay. okay. So mm. we'll proceed. Yeah. So uh, if we are new to video creation, right, I realized that, you know, uh, Gary V has a lot of nice um, designs. These are the few examples that you should not try if you are new. Uh. All right. So example for this, um, this thumbnail, right, the design is really nice. You know, it looks modern. It looks trendy, but I think it, it comes with outline. So don't try this. And then we have another example that you shouldn't try if you are new. Yeah, this one as well. So it comes with a lot of emojis. It comes with a bit of graphics. Don't try this, but I have a solution for you. You can try something that is much easier that you can do it within two minutes. Yeah. Try So you can try all these kind of examples instead. So what Gary V uh, does very well is that, you know, in his videos, right, because he's also always moving, he will actually find a particular frame where there are a lot of space either on the left or on the right. So for you, you can do the same as well. And uh, then just, you know, type in your captions there, your, your best captions, and then uh, overlay overlay um, them with, uh, no, do text overlay, sorry. Yeah, text overlay. And then cut, put in your social handles, your Instagram account, your TikTok account. You know, uh, you can do a hashtag, say, ask, ask Joseph Go, ask Yen Ting, you know. <laughs> so, so things like that. It's super simple. You can do this within two minutes, okay? So don't go cracking your head and thinking, oh, should I uh, hire a designer? You don't need that. Everything can be done from for free from your phone. Correct. And if you find that this format, right, or this design is actually very familiar, right? Yes. Yen Ting actually designed our um, creative over here exactly to what uh, Gary D's style is. So yeah, Yen Ting, would you like to share a little bit about this? Yeah. Okay. So for uh, this particular design, um, I would say I spent more time trying to think how I should lay out everything. But when it comes to the actual design, it's really, really fast. So what you can do as a beginner, choose a font, right, that is very bold, okay? long. It, it looks a bit elongated and, uh, and bold. And then what you can do is you can choose this um, rectangular, you know, every after every uh, caption, right, I have a rectangular bar behind, right? So do that, choose a contrasting color, and then you look like Gary V already. So don't go cracking your head, okay? Wow. Oh, we reached 51 live audience just now. Thank you. Thank you. Keep it up. So for those who you think can benefit from this, right? Continue to share with them. All right. Thank you. All right. And then after doing all the videos, after doing all the postings, right? You will realize uh, it's very common. You will realize after doing two to three videos, your enthusiasm just fade off. And then you realize, hey, uh, actually after doing all these videos and after I post, right? I don't really get, maybe I don't get uh, as much likes as uh, I expected. So. Uh, you become a bit more demoralized and you feel like, hey, this is not for me. But I feel that, I really feel that you shouldn't feel this way. And then that's why I wrote here, willpower is limited. Willpower, um, do a lot of people think that it is unlimited, but it's more limited than we can imagine. So how do you overcome this? You can find in your social circle, three people who are doing the same thing as you or similar things. So over here, I wrote three relevant people, right? Because you can even find people who are also doing videos 
or who are in the same industry as you. So after doing something, right, after doing a video, uh, send to them and tell them, hey, I did, I did this. So the thing is, after two to three videos, you are telling them for two to three times, right? And then the thing is, in a way, they are holding you accountable or you make yourself accountable to them. Because if after a while, after one or two weeks, they are not hearing from you, that means you're not doing anything. So you will feel bad, right? So that's in a way, you know, holding yourself accountable. Yeah. How about you, so, Joseph? Well, in a way, um, yeah, is actually uh, asking you to find someone that can kick you in the butt if you are not moving, okay? So this is something that's actually very fun. Now, for me, I also started off with like um, very basic videos where I also continue to just film from my phone and then I do my simple editing, etc. And eventually, right, because I want to reach out to more people, I want more people to actually watch my video. So I have to imbue a little bit of more quality content. Like the, I also look into like the lightings, the audios, and also inputting into music, those kind of things. The technical aspect will come into place, but most importantly over here, right, we do not want you to be bothered by all the kind of um, technical aspects that, you know, maybe it will actually stop you from taking this action. But instead, right, we want you to kickstart first and then eventually with more actions, you will get better and better each time. So this is actually very important. Yeah, over here is really, really about whether you want to do it or not. And if you do it enough, right, you'll definitely see improvement along the way. Do you feel so, Yanting? Yes. Okay. So if you do it enough, right, you will realize, right, your enthusiasm actually rubs off uh, other people as well. So people will also follow your footsteps. They will do, uh, they'll start creating videos. And who knows, maybe after that, you'll find that hey, people are coming to you telling you that, hey, Yan Ting, you know, I did this video. So, so people are using you to hold uh, them themselves accountable. So it's like what uh, Eric Kwa says here. He realized he have three peers who are way ahead and he gets spurred on when they see, when he sees what they are doing. So that's exactly yeah. what we are trying to, we are coming from. And also, Eric said that the most difficult part for me is writing the copy. Well, as what Yan Ting has shared earlier in the sharing, right? Well, it knows, it's not necessary that you need to, you know, have a perfect script. Sometimes the idea just came, right? Then you just remember to write it down somewhere in a notebook or like what Yan Ting called it, the video ideas dump. So when the time come, right, you just um, find the right time and then start to shoot, okay? And then you just let this thing flow. And of course, um, I'm not saying that for people who are not able to speak freely, you do not need to script. Of course, if you want to script it right, you can use it according to your needs and also your own style, right? So there's no hard and fast rule over here as long as you just start doing it and you'll get better and better. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so um, I realized, right, to a lot of people, you know, video creation is probably an experience, but to me, it is not an experience. It's more like a reflection it is more like a self-discovery because the thing is right video creation uh, is i have to say it's something out of the comfort zone you agree joseph yeah it's something yeah. there is <laughs> you really need to take the effort to do so yeah. <laughs> yeah correct so it's something out of the comfort zone and i realized right it is always when we start to take the first step out of our comfort zone that we can actually discover ourselves more that we understand ourselves more so Therefore, I don't just see videos as just an experience. It is really more about uh, discovering yourself, about the journey, about the reflection. Yeah. Hmm. I remember about this, right? I didn't think like um, my previous uh, Facebook Live covers about like um, storytelling. So if you can see a lot of influencers, right, a lot of YouTubers stuff, right, they like to use um, videos with stories to be able to bring across a point, a message across. So, you know, some of these are very emotional evoking. Well, when you vicariously learn through other people's experiences, right, you will also have the kind of epiphany and realization that, you know, like, oh, okay, uh, I need to have more empathy, I need to have more compassion, or I need to take more action, I need to give myself more drive. So all these, right, are the kind of things that video can really bring lives into you. The kind of experiences that when you start doing, right, you will really have the kind of realization. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, you know, I realized uh, there are quite a lot of uh, business owners and uh, self-employed friends as well. Some of them are financial advisors, some of them are property agents. So I was just want to share this as well. Uh, I believe if you have a business, right, you have a business page as well on Facebook. And if you do have a business page, right, after posting the video, just put in 5 to $10 a day to boost the video for to amplify the effect, you know, to get more video views. Uh, this is optional, but it will still be good like, if you have a business page. It is also about your your marketing, your, your personal branding as well. 
Mm. Yeah. Well, Melody, Melody shared about like watching Tony Robbins video. Yeah, correct. So Tony Robbins is actually the, the master of self-development, right? So of course, if you want to get inspired and motivated, Tony Robbins is one of the guy that you can go for. And Christina also asked, not sure whether is there any legal issue when using music, right? Okay, later we will share in uh, one of the resources below on how you can get royalty free music to input into your video. No worries, Christina. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. So um, we have come to the bonus part, the bonuses part. So are you all interested to know more? Because we have a lot of free things that we want to share with you, you know, that you can obtain them from your phone. You can download from your phone. And in fact, you know, when Christina talked about the music, right, you can get them for free. Yeah, even stop videos for free as well. So tell yeah. us if yeah, tell us if you want to know more, type in yes. Yeah, I think type in free lah. Huh? Singaporean like free things, right? Type free. F-R-E-E. -E, free, free. <laughs> If you want us to disclose the bonus resources to you, type in free. It's coming on the next page, okay? Come okay. on, come on, come on. Singapore spirit, free, 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 yes. Singaporean. <laughs> All right. Okay, so thank you. All right, so we'll go on. The resources is... <laughs> All right, okay, so these are the bonuses, right? That you can download them from your app store. You can uh, you know, just go to Chrome and download all the resources that you need. So the first thing is very important. What is the video editing app that you need? Because there are so many on the App Store, right? So there are two that I actually um, stand by. One is Capwing and one is InShot. So the good thing about Capwing and InShot, right, is that you, cannot, you, can only, you can not only edit your videos, you can put in the subtitles, you can put in music as well. So it's like an you know, all-in-one. It's a one-stop station for your video needs. So download that, okay? And... Um, the thing is also if you don't have a script right, or if you want to be a bit more fancy, you want to do it from your computer, right? You can use Ref. But right now, you know, today we are talking about doing it from your mobile phone, right? So start off with Capwing and InShot first. And when it comes to design, right, I use Canva. Canva is free as well. They have a lot of uh, nice icons. They have a lot of nice colors, nice fonts. So try that out. And then um, if you want to, you know, right now, example, when I shoot a video, right, I will crop myself out. So, and then I'll omit the background. So if you want to do that, you can go to uh, www.remove.bg. They will do it for you. Uh, but the resolution is not that high, but it's good enough for uh, you know, for your mobile videos. Same thing, would you like to share, right? When you actually have the clear background for the headshots, right? So yeah. how do you use it for? So earlier, the thumbnails, right? Maybe you can share a little bit about that. Yeah, okay. So uh, for the thumbnails, okay, right now, wait, do I have that? Can we flash to the... Yeah. Right. Example like this. Yeah. Okay. So for this one, right, right now I'm holding a wine glass. So I actually took this video in the restaurant, right? So what I do is I upload the photo and the website is actually quite amazing. They were, they are able to differentiate you from the background. So they will do the magic work for you. They will actually erase it for you uh, automatically. So for Joseph, uh, I think Joseph's one is done by his designer. But for my, for my right, I actually use the app and it works well. Yeah, but of course, if you want to go for something of higher of a higher resolution, you probably need Photoshop. But right now, we are again, you know, talking about videos uh, made from home uh, that you're watching from mobile. I think uh, www.remove.bg is good enough. Yes. Hello, Matthew. Oh, my godmother is here. Well, Keep thank you, thank you, Jin Hong. Keep up the good work, thank you. Barbara is here, yay! Wow, so many people here. Okay, good. <laughs> Let's continue. Yes, after that, will be background music. What Christina okay. is asking? Yeah, yeah, background music. So what I do is I go to YouTube, and then um, uh, if you watch enough um vloggers, right, you realize hey, they use a lot of nice background music, right? But which is which is the exact uh musician that they are they are you know uh, using the the music from. So I follow Joachim Karut and also uh, Jeff Kell. So you can type uh, Joachim Karut or Jeff Kell and then you can just go and listen to their music and you can actually download their music for free because it's, some of them are royalty free. So uh, yeah, so that's um, one of the sources I go to for music, YouTube. And then the other thing is, like I mentioned, if you want to be more uh, fanciful with your videos, you can use stock videos. And then these are the few resources you can go to, Pexels, Pixabay and VZD. V, v, v Z, uh, v Z, okay, yeah. So um, when it comes to, so these are the few things, right, that you can actually download for free from your phone, from the internet. But when it comes to, you know, hardware, when it comes to tripod, 
Um, right now, I, I'm happy, you know, I'm lucky I got my tripod before Circuit Breaker. So I got this from uh, Simim Square. And I think Joseph, you know, you can you share with them where they can get their tripods from right now, uh, being at home? Yeah, so now it's actually the Circuit Breaker period, right? What you can do is that you can actually get from a lot of these uh, online stores, okay, Lazada, Shopee, etc. It ranged all the way from a few dollars to, you know, even um, 90 over dollars. I can see some very comprehensive one. Okay, most importantly is that the tripod is for you to hold your phone stable. And of course, if you want to get any lighting, right, like some have actually the ring light. If you want to get external build, right, you can also do so. So it depends on yourself. But of course, for a start, right, I don't recommend you to get too expensive one. You will get better along the way. So you can get a very big C1 will do. Okay, so with this, I would like to uh, say hi to my professor. Okay, Dr. Haber, hello. He's uh, <laughs> from Oklahoma City. So now it should be somewhere at about 7 a.m. in US. So thank you for watching, Dr. Haber. Okay, so we'll continue. And you know, like if you can see that there's actually um, people that takes video, right? How they can have good audio is that if you are just relying on your phone, it will be very far. Okay, so you, unless you speak very loudly, right? You might catch some of the wind or you know some of the things also. So it will be good if you can actually have a yeah. lavalier mic. Okay, yeah. so like like what uh, Yen Ting is doing, I also have one like this. So what we do is that if we are far away from uh, the, the camera source, okay, or the video source, we want to click over here to actually have our voice being projected. And if you can see, right, usually it comes with this uh, this meshy thing, okay? So this is actually to block off the wind or etc. Then there is actually the furry ball. If you are going outdoor, outdoor is also to, you know, eliminate the brushing of the winds on your mic, etc. So Lavella mic, okay, again, you can go to any online store like Lazada, Shopee, or Taobao, AliExpress, anything, okay? It's as cheap as a few dollars all the way to, you know, if you want to get a very um, good quality one, R-O-D-E, okay? It could be a hundred over dollars. So it really depends on uh, what is the kind of quality that you're looking for and also your budget, okay? So there's yeah. no right, no wrong, just explore it. Okay. So, okay. So, well, some of you, you might have uh, wanted to actually write down, right? Don't worry. We will actually screenshot this bonus and send it in the um, comment session after the end of this whole uh, sharing session. All right. So don't need to copy. Yeah. Okay. Joseph, uh, Jennifer is asking, right? Uh, she's mm. not familiar. I think she's not familiar with the musicians, right? That we mentioned. Uh, these are the musicians that I look for when I want to download the, their YouTube music. So these mm. people they are more in the chill hop genre, not in the popular pop music, I think. So that's why we are not, a lot of us are not familiar with them. But you know, for the vloggers, right, they are always using their music. So you can just later, you know, go and uh, search them up and then listen to the music, see if it's to your liking, yeah. Yeah, so Christina also asked about, uh, she's asking about like, still the royalty of the music, okay? So maybe one of the things that, personally my experience is that, uh, what I like to do is that I will go into YouTube, uh, let's say easy right youtube you just go and type and then you can type royalty free music okay so if it's indicated over there usually it's royalty free and then you just use another website to download the music down then you can use it in this way okay so if not right uh, what you can do is that you just need to at the side of your video uh, give credit to the artist or give credit to the company that produced this music so at, if you actually acknowledge them you are not infringing to their copyright okay J Cho, <laughs> Eric, you want to use J Cho ah? Can lah, you have to you have to seek the permission lah, or you have to buy the royalty from J Cho first, okay? <laughs> or the music production. <laughs> okay, so no worries. Again, we will um, screenshot this and we will put in the comment section below. So far, how many of you are learning something here? Okay, if you are learning something, right? Can you type learning, learning, learning in the comment section? Let us know that you are learning something over here. Okay. Okay, good. All right, let's proceed. Okay, so um, the above tips are actually for people who wants to do videos with no money, right? You don't need, you don't want to spend money. So the thing is, um, uh, if you're a business owner, you realize, you know, our videos are not just the only thing you want in your in your life. You know, you don't want to be, uh, you know, uh, bound out with this, uh task of having to edit having to you know uh, do the subtitles you can actually outsource them so that's exactly what i do i outsource them 
And then uh, also the thing about outsourcing things, right, is that you don't just tell people, I want to get a video done and these are the things, just get it done for me. No, we need to give people some kind of instructions, some kind of directions, I won't say instructions, some kind of directions. So these are the few things I follow. I will tell the person exactly what kind of font style I want and where the video is going to be posted because the resolution will be different. And then let them know if you want a progress bar, which I think you should put a progress bar because right now there's a lot of videos that's made uh, last year, 2019, 2020, they have progress bar. It looks more trendy, so put that in. And also, um, when for every video that you do, right, you have a particular message that you want to deliver. So you can tell the editor, you know, what are the keywords that you want to highlight in a different color so that it makes your videos more catchy as well. And then uh, at the top of the banner, right, for this square video, which this concept, we call it the letterbox concept. Uh. So you have some space on the, on top, right? Uh, tell the editor as well what kind of captions you want to put, what is the header. It will make your video views a lot higher, definitely, on, on Facebook and Instagram. And then uh, if you do have stock videos, right, do tell the person, you know, where to insert the stock videos so that whatever that you say matches the context of the stock videos and it makes your videos a lot more enjoyable as well. Yeah. So okay. touching on that, right, what Yan Jing shared with you on this letterbox, right? Earlier, one of the apps that we have recommended, InShot, InShot allows you to do the uh, letterbox also. So let's say letterbox is usually in this way. La. The top right is your compelling headlines or the kind of hook that you want people to watch. And then the below right, you can either put it into subtitles. So it's like a spare space for subtitles. So usually that's the format. Of course, if you want to turn it another way, where you want to have top and bottom are all headlines or subtitles, etc., you can do it your own style, right? So there are no hard and fast rules. But uh, some of the most practice is top is actually the header, the hook, and below is for subtitles. So it's up to you how you want to use it. In short, is the apps. Yeah. Okay. Um. Over here, Eric is asking what is stock videos. Okay. So do you know stock images? So example, right now, right. Um. You are looking at this guy. Uh, he has the caution tape all over him, right? These are photos that we call stock photos. <laughs> got them from the internet you know it's taken by a professional photographer who is sharing this for a small little fee or for free so these are what we call stock uh, images so the same thing for stock videos we have people who are videographers they just want to take uh, uh, videos for a particular scene which people like us marketers or business owners can just grab them from the internet and put them into our video so that you know it will be boring right if throughout the the, the two minutes video you're only seeing my face so sometimes we want to transit into a stock video so that it looks more uh, enjoyable it looks like there is a break from me you know it, you're not just looking at me talking so uh that's stock video and that's what stock videos are for and uh christina is asking what is the progress bar um joseph can you go back to the previous slide sure yeah okay so can you see i have three video uh screenshots here right and then i have at the bottom of every video i have uh my subtitles can you see above my subtitles there is a red tape there that's the progress bar so the thing is right as this people are, yeah as people are watching your video they know exactly okay when how much more to go when your video is going to end so it gives people a cue la, like how much time they need to be spending with you so i really feel you should put the progress bar because that's the trend since actually since 2018 yeah yeah so okay. for alexandra where do you outsource right we'll share with you in a bit all right so we are covering that already yeah so okay. the thing after yeah. you have shared so much with me right i really feel that i'm like the guy inside this picture now like how are <laughs> <laughs> okay so the thing is i realized right again right it's about the mindset a lot of you will think that wow, after Joseph and Yen Ting has shared so much with us, the six steps are to do videos. I feel like wow, there's a lot to digest. It's very intensive. Actually, it is not because, like I mentioned, right, doing the task itself is actually easier than you um, having the mindset that oh, I can't do it. Oh, I'm not able to do it because I don't have this. I don't have that. The timing is not right. When you overcome all these obstacles, uh, mental obstacles, you realize that hey, actually shooting the video itself, uh, even doing the editing itself, uh, because you don't understand money. It's actually so much more easier than, and than, than taking the first step. The first step is always the hardest. Yeah, just like yeah. the what's the saying? Ah, uh, the saying start with uh, the journey with in a with a thousand miles. Start with the first step. Is it? Is it? Is it this saying? 
<laughs> okay, so well, you see over here, right? What we are doing is that we are not trying to, you know, bombard with you with a lot of information. These are some of the trial and tested, the more effective ones. But seriously, if you are talking about video, right, it can go very deep. What we shared with you earlier, the six step, right, is already broken down into very simple method. You can pick and choose which one works best for you. Okay, and also you see the thing about human, right? The thing about human mind is that. Whatever we think, right, we will actually feel and whatever we feel, right, we may be able to put it into action or an inaction and that actually comes to a result, okay? So what I want to do is that for this sharing session, as mentioned, right, we are not trying to be like a teacher. We are more like a friend. We are more like a peer. We are more like, you know, people who have been there, done that, right? We want to share with you that this is possible. So like, I can't do it, right? Cut away the apostrophe T, okay? I can do it. Change your belief by doing it. As long as you keep doing it, you keep taking massive action, you realize that everything becomes clearer and clearer. Clarity is really the number one thing that you want to see if you are doing something or if you are pursuing something that you see that is meaningful, purposeful. Yeah. So over here, I'd like to share with you on this thing. Okay. So earlier I share with you that uh like Andy Tan, one of my friends, right? Earlier, the home cook chef. If you can see over here, I'm sharing real life screenshot from him yeah on the top left hand over here if you can see it's actually 30th december 2019 so you see he is actually posting um, um some of this uh food nutrition thing and you see how many likes are there one like okay and then the next day right first of january he posted something to do with nutrition also zero like no comment okay and then he saw on and continue on third of january he posted something to do with diet also. So three likes, so on and so forth. So he has about zero to five likes right, from 30th of December to 3rd of January. Yeah. So let me show you the real transformation, right? That happens within the same day. So you can see over here is 3rd January, three likes. Okay. So are you ready for the secret? If you are ready, right? Please type ready, ready. Ready, um, yeah. If I don't <laughs> be ready, I won't tell you the secret, all right? Of how I built him from zero to hero, okay? Type ready, I want to see ready, please, please, type in ready. <laughs> yeah, give us some support. If you think that we are doing a good job so far, please comment and give us the kind of support. Type in ready, I want to see ready, please. <laughs> yes, okay. Jennifer is ready, yes. More ready, more ready. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Lindsay is here. Hello, Boone is here. Terrence, hello, hi. Yes, Christina is ready. Both Christina is ready. Wow. <laughs> ready for the magic. More ready. Come on, come on. Y'all want to take action, right? Y'all must start by doing this action first. Huh? Then you can lead you to bigger actions. Okay. So, well, I also don't want to mind Guanzi already. Later, Joseph say Photoshop. No, it's not Photoshop. These are all real thing, real thing. Okay. You can go and visit Andy. Uh, Facebook profile page. Okay, so thank you so much for replying, Eric, Alexandra, both Christina, yeah, and also Jaden. Okay, so now I will show you her. Ta -da -da -da, on third of January from three to. You see over here, also third of January. You see how many lights over here. So, it's affecting. Okay, so have you? Can you see the below? 130 plus likes 53 comments 24 share and on the same on the next day right 4th of january 104 likes and also a lot of engagement so if you can see earlier 3rd of january right he's still having this uh posting forwarded message right with three likes and exactly on the same day in the evening time right after i've helped him to do some magic to his posting right straight away garner over 130 plus likes comments and even share for an organic post right this is something that is amazing okay like if you are not spending a cent on this right that means you are really having a lot of effective outreach to people so see this is actually the magic about marketing okay the magic about positioning the magic about branding so in short i just give you some tips right? because this one is not to talk about too much about branding and marketing okay this i want still to stay within the video 
So what I do is that I know that Andy is actually someone that uh, really is passionate about food and nutrition and he's a home cook chef. So what I do is that I just need to position him and project what he wants to be known to the public, right? By showing case of this and next, this is what he will get, attraction. Yeah, so as you can see, 5th of January also, 100 over likes. And then during the Chinese New Year, also 100 over likes. So consistently getting 100 over likes engagement, right? For the next few weeks to months, right? Until now, okay? So isn't that powerful? As yes. I have shown you, right? All the way from, you know, like one like, two like, three like, right? On the same day, it's become 100 over like, okay? Within a day and consistently for all his next posts. So, of course, today, right, I'm, I'm going to share with you about video, right? So, next is I would like to share with you how do I help him to garner more traction in this. Do you want to see that? Okay, if you want to see that, all right, I will show it to you now. Okay, as you can see, after the uh, posting that I've actually helped to brand and position him, right, I thought about it. How can I continue to help him to uh, be known to the public more? So what I do is that I actually say that, hey, Andy, why not we do a five-part series of a video to actually share with people on your culinary style, you know, what are some of the desserts that you like to do, you know, why you do what you do, okay? Because like Andy is actually a five-figure paying uh, lecturer in ACCA, but he actually, you know, devote more time into cooking because that's his passion. So when you share about your passion, right, if you are just using copywriting or text, right, it's very hard to actually share the kind of feelings or the kind of passion. So by using video, again, I mentioned video is very powerful. Why? Because it evokes the emotion. It can exactly show people, right, how excited are you? It's just like, okay, now if I talk it this way, yeah, I'm just trying to share with you what I have for video. <laughs> Comparing to now, I'm using a lot of excitement, right? A lot of energy to share with you, right? What would you prefer? The former or the latter? If you think that me showing you more energy, you can absorb more and you are really excited to learn more, right? Please help me to type in energy, energy, okay? Give me the energy also. So you see, okay, over here, we have done a four-part series on his culinary uh, adventure and also his home chef adventure. And you know what? Let me show you to the next slide, right? It's really amazing. If you can see over here. So we have actually posted this on 2nd of March, right? Okay, so of course, we have some copywriting that... Uh, we have done for him and then over here is actually the video so it's a screenshot can you see how many comments how many shares how many views 1.2k views 1200 views on this video alone okay some people right even if you are using uh, organic reach right it's even hard to reach more than 100 views and this is 1.2k views on zero ad cost. Isn't it amazing, anything? Yeah. And also when it comes to, I'm just saying this as a marketer, like, because if it's 1,200 views, right, when we look at the engagement, right, it's actually more than 10%. You have 123 likes, you have 15 comments, 23 shares, that's like almost 160, 170 engagement. So I think that the, the engagement rate is definitely higher than just putting up still photos of, of food, of him being busy in the kitchen or doing plating videos can can really convert so much better yeah correct and you know what's the most important thing like what's the fun fact about this yeah thing yeah when, is it? Um, when i'm doing this with andy right andy only have 300 facebook friends okay so i mean as marketer we know the algorithm right like for facebook every organic post that you post out right at most right you will reach between about 10 percent plus minus of your friends so yeah. you just imagine, right? Andy have 300 friends. If Half of them are according, like according to the Facebook algorithm of 10%, right? That means it should reach out to 30 friends only. Like, but you see, it's 100 over people like, and then the views. Okay, If you can see how come he have so many views is because, right, the friends are sharing for him. There are yeah. 23 shares on this video, right? That, you know, friends share to friend, friends share to friend, and there are more and more people that are actually watching this, and this is also growing. Like what Yen Ting mentioned, right? Video is actually a digital asset that is actually evergreen. So people will continue to watch and as long as you don't take it down or remove it, of course. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, another thing, right? Last time we always hear that people say content is king, video is king. And then the people will say that, you know, uh, the evolution is going to change. People are going to move towards 
videos a lot, a lot towards videos. But I think because of this circuit breaker, video is here, it's definitely here and it's here to stay. Yeah. Right. So for all of you, right, especially if you have a business, you have you are a, you are a self-employed person, you know, property agent, insurance agent, or if we, you are into car sales, or if you are a gym trainer, you definitely need to use videos to 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 uh, tap into you know the new markets right now. Yeah. You know, one of the things uh, that's actually very funny and thing. You know, as I have done this video for Andy, right, and then post out to uh, many of this audience, right, there is actually one uh, lady, right, she actually uh, PM me in the messenger and say, hey, Joseph, thanks for sharing so much uh, good food about uh, all your sharings. Then I was thinking, what, what good food have I shared, right? Maybe the most recent post is uh, during Mother's Day, then yeah, we cook some seafood. Then after you say, oh, I see that you constantly post a lot of uh, videos and also photos about your 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 meals and also your cooking. Then I was thinking, ah, that is Andy, not me. So can you see the ripple effect that you have on me? I'm not a chef, you know. <laughs> I'm just the one that is actually doing this video with me, right? And the perception by the public is that I'm a chef now. <laughs> <laughs> So that's the funny thing. And of course, after this video, right, of course, we want to see certain effects of this, not just views, right? So Andy told me that after this video was sent out, right, his booking was full for the next six weeks. Okay. So I'm really happy for him. Of course, if not for the circuit breaker or the lockdown, right, probably his business will grow and grow. Lah. So he's actually doing a home dining omakase style. Okay. And this, right, we actually see that, as mentioned, the videos can actually generate thousands and thousands of you, right? And also businesses for you. If you really put in your effort to kickstart your first video or when you start to actually get better and better with video, of course, with authenticity. So we don't want you to actually use a different kind of persona from your usual self. We just want you to be yourself and be at your best when you share and give value to people, just like what we are doing now. We are also sharing and giving value to you and of course, after this, we will actually see some of the feedbacks where we can improve ourselves to be a better version of ourselves next day, right? Yeah. Okay. okay. So much so. I think there are a few questions uh, that we have missed out because we were, we were doing our sharing. Are you able to see on your side? Yes. I think one of the questions, um, somebody was asking who do we outsource to? So we I actually use this... Um, Okay, yes, yes, sorry. Uh. So while yeah. you're sharing, uh, I want to give them this uh, time first. Okay. okay. So, much so there are still 45 of you over here, and I hope that you already enjoy this session, right? Okay. So after learning through the whole thing about the tips and also the strategies of how to make effective and compelling video, please let me know, or please let us know if you have any questions, right, that you need to overcome so that you can kickstart your journey. So type it in the comment section below. We will answer them. All right. So type it now while Ye Ting answering to earlier uh, one of the questions by one of these attendees. Yeah. Ye Ting, yeah. Please. Yep. I can't see the question anymore, but I remember it from my mind. So someone was asking about uh, who do can we outsource it to? Um, I use this platform called Fiverr. F-I-V-E-R-R. -R. Yeah. So over there, right, you can find uh, talents, you can find freelancers who can do video editing for you, who can do uh, graphic design, anything that you need to get done remotely. You can get your stuff done there for as low as 5 USD. So check that out, Fiverr, yeah. And uh, somebody, Christina is asking camera shy how. Okay, Cam if you are camera shy, <laughs> I think... Um, for me, I feel what would be good is like example, right? The third video that I did, I actually do it for 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 Joseph as a video testimonial. So the thing is, uh, because maybe if you are new, you are camera shy. Because a lot of times the people are camera shy is is actually mostly because they don't know what to say or they don't know they are mindful of their expression as such. So I think for someone with Joseph, maybe next to me, uh, when I'm doing a video testimonial for him, he can guide me mm. along. That would help a lot, yeah. So that can also help you to overcome your camera shyness mm. and jennifer is asking if i am to share my craft working in progress what do i need to set up what kind of craft are you talking about uh, doing uh uh things like uh no hobby related like leather craft or sewing yeah because i think a lot of times those kind of setup right you need to have a tripod that can put your camera flat like that and then you have a flat lay kind of a view over what you're over your shoulders over what you're doing uh. so you need to that get that kind of um tripod and i think lighting is important as well 
and also the composition yeah so it's a bit more advanced uh, when it comes to composition but the most important thing is you need to show and fill up the frame right of the things that you want to share with people so example if you are sewing or you're doing leather crafting you have to be com coming near enough that people can see where exactly your needles are going through you know where are you exactly stamping on the on the piece of leather yeah oh it's in uh painting, painting and, and clay yeah Pain okay that's easier right because it has to be done uh the video will probably be shot at a further distance so all you need is just a tripod but the tripod wouldn't be this kind don't get this this is too short you need a uh a, 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 I think it's more than one one meters long, yeah, with the extend extendable legs. Yeah, that get that kind of um tripod. I'm yeah. not so sure about the price. I think you can get that for less than fifty dollars online. Yeah. Yeah. So mm. to answer to Jennifer, what Yan Ting shared earlier is that uh okay, I think let maybe summarize for you easier. Uh. So firstly is that you need to have actually a, a good idea of what you want to share. Like for example, painting or clay sculpting right okay so if you want to shine the, the camera or the videographer to the table so your tripod you must still in a way whereby it's actually capturing that maybe your hand or you want it to be in front of you so you must roughly know exactly right what are the kind of uh, composition or angle on how you want the video to turn up and also the technical aspect will be to have a good lighting okay some of the videos right with very lousy lighting right or poor lighting right it will not stand out well so let me give you an example right if i turn off my lighting over here you see i'm, I'm not illuminated well right and i don't appear to look like uh, someone that actually you know have the authority to speak to you or someone that you want to watch so having a good lighting to illuminate you right is very important and as mentioned also audio is also very important so as long as your background is clean okay you have a clear shot of what you want to shoot good lighting and also good audio right yeah from there you will improve accordingly so no worries about all the you know big and fast rule about that yeah so camera shy how you think <laughs> camera shy uh, she needs human eye contact yeah so exactly um what i mentioned just now right like when uh, if you're camera shy get someone next to you who is probably a bit more advanced in video creation so ideally you want someone who is relevant who can guide you as well you don't want to just find any tom dick and harry and then standing down there for what right so get someone who has been there done that who can guide you along and then uh once you have somebody who is there mentally supporting i think all the camera shy elements will go away yeah and then the most important thing is i think confidence as well if you are not even sure of the topic that you want to talk about that you definitely won't have confidence in what you you are you are speaking about so again it's all about uh having the confidence having the conviction because once you are confident about what you're saying right you feel good about yourself you don't really feel camera shy anymore yeah so one of these things right also that i have touched in uh previously when i talk about uh, some of my other facebook live topic is that when you want to do something right and something is holding you back right it could be due to this you do not have the clarity on what you want to do and also right your purpose is not as big as your doubts so as long as you have the clarity and you have the purpose on what you want to do this for right that means your why why right you will be able to find all ways to overcome all these self-limiting belief or doubts like what uh, Yen Ting shared in the earlier slides so like for her right why she wants to go into video is because like during this circuit breaker she just feel that it will be good to pick up this skill because it's good for her business okay because it's just in the digital marketing world so so you have to find your purpose why for me i love to share using video why because i feel that video is something that i can actually help to shift certain beliefs right help to motivate people in terms of business or in terms of personal development and as mentioned video is always moving so if picture paint a thousand words right a video at 60 frames per second right it paints like multi-million words yeah so that's actually one of the reasons why i love to use that so find your purpose find your mission okay so i hope that this will be easier for christina okay so anything what about uh alexandra asked about this how do we multitask to cook and film wow okay so anything that do that has to do with fire right <laughs> try not to multitask uh. I think uh because when it comes to cooking right you want to cook and you know try to shoot yourself at the same time it's going to be dangerous i'm just thinking about danger uh, i'm thinking about your 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 what do you call that safety uh? safety. <laughs> safety your safety <laughs> so uh i think it would be good to get someone to do the filming for you um okay and but having said that right recently when i turned on channel eight uh, they have a uh, 
variety show where they get people like Brian Wong, Pan Ling Ling, right, to do a PK challenge on a, a particular dish creation. And they actually did the filming themselves. So what they do is they probably have a heads up like that, hey, you know, uh, Brian Wong, you need to do some uh, shoots for us, you know. So maybe for that, he has preparation. He can go and buy all the nice tripods, etc., to hang around his house. And then uh, that's how he cook and film at the same time. But uh, we are saying that, you know, uh, right now with Circuit Breaker, uh, it's probably hard to get the tripod right now. So when it comes to cooking and filming at the same time, I wouldn't recommend. But if you really need to, you probably have to give yourself more prep time to get the equipment first, to get the gadgets first, yeah, to get the placement of the cameras. Because when you want to cook, right, you have this angle coming here, that angle coming here. You also need multiple phones, yeah. So uh, the prep, the, the preparation is important, uh, if you want to do it all by yourself, yeah. Okay, uh, yeah, like Yen, Yen Ting is uh, a female, maybe she's uh, more concerned in terms of the safety. I, I'm actually someone that really like to take passive action. So to answer to this, right, my perspective is, okay, definitely you need to take care of the fire, right, safety first. But if you mount a tripod beside, right, and then you actually just shoot it. Okay, of course, you won't have multiple angles unless you have a few phones with you. So as long as you are doing that, right, there are a lot of people that are doing live, right? Or they are actually just filming, right? Just continue to cook, lah, no problem. No need to edit away the, the center part about it. Because let's say if you want to edit away the center part, right? Just use the, like earlier we've mentioned, right? The software, capwing or in short, you can actually edit away the center part. But, but if you want to make it as real as possible, as authentic as possible, it's okay. When you want to go and um, wash or you want to go and slice or you want to go and stir fry everything, right? Just capture it inside it. So like if you can see for video, right, in terms of the cooking, they just show the whole few, um, like a few hours or even one hour of the whole cooking process. It's okay, one. no worries about that. But of course, if you are going to do it like a short film, right, like, a, like two minutes or less than five minutes, then you edit away all the things and you speed up accordingly. And that can be used uh, with the apps that we have recommended earlier. Mm. Yeah. So that's my perspective. Okay, Christina is asking who do we decide to hire in Fiverr. Okay, so what I one of the things I look at right is uh because under Fiverr you can actually have a few filters. So for me, right, I always choose designers who have English as their first language because on Fiverr everything is done remotely. You can't even go on a video call with that freelancer. So it's gonna be very challenging. So what I do is uh, I choose people who have English as the, their native language or first language, yeah. And then uh, look at the reviews. Reviews are important. And then also on the Fiverr listing, right, they have the portfolio of that freelancer. So you can go and take a look at uh, their previous works and then you decide from there. Uh, it is a little bit of a try and error. You know, it's a bit kind of like a luck thing. Lah. But um, yeah, reviews are look at the reviews and choose people who can speak English, who can, just, yeah. Okay. Any more questions? Yeah. Any more questions to this? Wow, it's about one hour, 20 minutes really. We overshot a bit, but thank you so much. There are still 30 plus of you over here. I guess that you all have uh, enjoyed this session, right? If you have enjoyed this session, right? Okay, after this, please help us to share this with more people that you think can benefit for them in terms of their business or in terms of their personal interest or passion, okay? So this thing does not only work for business, it works even for your passion, your interest. So like, you know, if let's say, for example, you're someone that really loves cooking, right? Yeah, you can just learn how to take video for your cooking. If you're someone that you love baking, etc., or you have passion for any other areas, it's applicable to anything that you want. Video really, really works. Okay, if you can see videos start all the way, maybe from 19, 20 plus all the way till now. So it's something that is actually a very important vehicle, which I mentioned, right, in my video that I use almost every day of my life, be it life or be it business. Yeah. Okay. okay so, uh, Melody, think, uh, any idea roughly how long a video should be? Okay. So for a begin for beginners, right? I will say for the first five videos, keep it to um less than one and a half minute because that will be probably about a uh, hundred and fifty words. Yeah. So you know, last daily he has one minute video, right? So maybe for you, you want to do one and a half minute or two minute videos. Yeah. <laughs> and then as you get more advanced, right after creating five videos you can you can scale up 50 words which is about 30 seconds yeah so but you know for the context of facebook and instagram right people's attention span is very short so i think it would be good to keep it to less than three minutes actually that's the longest you should go and uh once you are very good at video creation you have more following you have more authority right people want to really hear about what you have to share then you can go longer you know can even put it up uh, on, on youtube you know 
yeah, but I think for a start, when we have very little following, right, I try to keep it to two minutes first. Mm, good. Even even one minute is good, okay? If you just want to take out your video camera and you want to share some of these uh, things that you have, like realization, maybe, you know, every day when you're doing something, then you suddenly feel, oh, yeah, I should have done it this way. Maybe let me share it with you. So you can take a video of yourself and then do some edit, put in some music, and then you can just send, right? So again, there are no hard and fast rules. There are no right or wrong, okay? As long as you like it and you know that, the intention is actually to bring value to the world, to the community. Do it, do it. Let people give you feedback. It's all right. As long as you continue to do it, you'll be able to grow. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're welcome, Melody. <laughs> and then Christina is saying, yeah, it's good to do one to three minutes. Because one to three minutes, is it's just like running. You know, if you want to prepare for a marathon, right, you don't just go dashing for 10 kilometers <laughs> for the first start. You know, as you, as you start, as you practice, you probably start with 3 km first, then 5 km, and then you scale up. So that's the same thing for videos also. Eric say one minute is pretty long. I, I give you some <laughs> context. Uh. Eric is actually a H2 chemistry uh, tutor. So he is, ah, Eric, one minute is not too long for you. Lah. You can go on and on, on lesson for like hours and hours. So you are <laughs> such a great speaker. One minute is nothing to you. Yeah. So <laughs> you can start to use this to actually uh, take some of these uh, interesting videos for your camp and also to reach out to your students. So, you know, make the lesson more fun. Yeah, I know you're already a very fun person, uh, but using video will make you more fun. Then they're all, oh, Mr. Kwa, I like your video, those kind of things. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Any more questions for us? Oh, good. Okay. And Christina Chua Walia, Walia over here, right? She's actually one of the person that, uh, you know, she asked me about video and then I was thinking about it. Hey, yeah, oh, since there are so many people who want to use video and of course, you see the whole landscape is changed already ma, after the whole circuit breaker period. So I decided to invite Yen Ting over here to do this sharing with me. So really, really, I, I just feel that I'm very honored and also very happy to have Yen Ting over here with me. Because of her presence, I have more energy in doing this Facebook <laughs> Live. So thank you so much, Yen Ting. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah, thanks for having me as well because uh, I have not tried Facebook Live before. So tell thanks to um, Joseph for guiding me along. You know, it was, it, actually, there's quite a lot of prep work to do for Facebook Live. we got to rehearse, we got to live with each other, you know, uh, what content we are sharing, we got to go through even the technical side, you know, we have to try, hey, how do we use StreamYard? Like, how to do, how to show the slides and our faces? So again, uh, like, I think um, everything that we do in life is also, uh, it's like a discovery journey, like, you know, like video creation. And you have your friend here, Joyce Bingo. She just came in. Joyce Bingo is quite advanced in videos yes, as well. Right? she's I very advanced in video. <laughs> yeah, I saw her ad. She gave a video testimony for Brian. Yeah. yeah. Okay, hi, Ron. All right. Okay, so, well, it has come to almost one and a half hour already. I just want to thank you so much for being here. Okay, so, well, if you feel that such content, right, in terms of the marketing, in terms of business, right, it will be helpful for you for your growth, you can join us in this close group, uh, Hyper Advertising Traffic and Funnel Offer. I'll send the link in the comment section below. So, together with the bonuses that we have shared earlier. So, um, I'm from Hyperfame Digital. Okay, and today I'm very happy to have Yen Ting, co -founder, uh, founder of um, 11 August Media here with me. And, well, one of the things that we really, really want to ask a favor from you is, Yen Ting, please do the job. Okay, so let us know, right, what have you learned after spending almost one and a half hour with us? Tell us in the comments below. Yeah, don't be shy. Let us let us know and let the rest of the audience know as well. So we know we can all do a recap together and give us some feedback how we can do better and what are the topics that you want to you want us to cover as well in the next uh, few Facebook Live if we are working together again. <laughs> correct, okay. correct. Please, Henry, please, please. Facebook yeah. Live. And then uh, Christina is asking, can you show how to edit videos? Okay. The part about editing videos, right? Because the apps that we recommended, they are actually all mobile apps that's super easy to use. I think you can try to uh, uh, figure out first because um, because there are only a few things that you, that you need to do. Uh, you don't play with the transitions first. Try to do um, the NGs, you no know, cut away, away, away the NGs. So that's the editing part that you need to do. Uh, put in the videos, uh, sorry, put in the music. And then what else? Yeah, I think that's so far for editing. 
try out these two first and then as you get more familiar with the app right then add in things like transitions add in things like emojis yeah and the subtitles and the the top you know banner uh captions etc yeah so we okay. go step by step yeah <laughs> then think do you know today there are a lot of heavyweight people that are watching our live or Sorry. there are there are a lot of heavyweight that like you know thousands of followers already world class wow. people watching us like wow very wow. honored very thankful for you to join us over here and it has been about one and a half hour. There are still 33 of you over here. So thankful, so thankful. And even Eric and, you know, like, uh, Christina also want us to continue to make episode two and three of this video sharing. So you think you want to do it or not? <laughs> yeah, definitely. So the thing is, right, because the uh, circuit breaker, um, we have another one and a half week to go, right? Yeah, so once after 1st of June, once we can go out there and if I'm discovering more things when I'm shooting uh, my videos outside, I'll definitely share with you all. Yes. So yeah. again, we need a favor from you. Okay, uh, please let us know what is your biggest takeaway today. Okay, be it in terms of the mindset shift, or be it in terms of the effectiveness of the video, or even the tips and strategy that Yan Ting has shared with you. Please let us know. Comment below, please, please, please. Let us know what is your biggest takeaway so that we can know what we have done right, and also what is the area of improvement that we need to go into. Right, every day, right, we are growing, growing, growing. So. Thank you so much. And I really, really want to have your comments on sharing your biggest takeaway. Please let us know. Thank you so much. And you see, the, the thing about this and thing is that we are actually discussing about doing this for at home, right? Even after the circuit breaker, I believe the whole um, regulation or the, the, the requirement is not lifted yet. So yeah. this will be able to actually be uh, useful even for probably until the end of the year, right? Yeah. Yeah, and also, of course, like one year thing say, so when the circuit breaker is uh, lifted a little bit already, right, when we can actually go out and shoot more outdoor videos, probably we will actually come and do another Facebook Live to share with you our experience and also some of the tips and strategy on outdoor video, right? You think, do you want to do that? Uh, that's, right, that's right. So the thing is, whatever that we have shared with you now, right, you can actually gather all this uh, experience, all these learnings. And when the day comes when you can go back to office and work with your colleagues, you can get your colleagues help and make even better videos. Yeah. So the best time is to start. It's not next year. It's not next month. It's actually right now. Yeah. Now that we are still at home, we have another 10 more days to go to the end of Circuit Breaker. Just get started, you know. Um, maybe tomorrow you can start creating a video take every you know we have we have about 10 days left to circuit breaker yeah so i think within these 10 days you can easily make three one minute video right yeah so just get started first correct so Christine, <laughs> asking how not to be camera shy maybe you have some input on this <laughs> yeah, how how not to be camera shy as earlier mentioned a bit lah, okay so firstly you you need to have clarity in terms of your message that you want to bring across in the video because a lot of people right why they don't want to take the action is because they don't have the clear roadmap so as long as you know what is the message you want to bring across as mentioned right like the topic the subject let's say for example you want to go into cooking like alexandra earlier so just think about it okay so i want to film a cooking um video of myself then you just find the right day get the right ingredient etc with all the equipment set up right then you just do it do it already right don't have to be shy about it to post it online, right? Because the thing is that definitely, right, we start from somewhere, right? If you actually start to post your first video, people give you certain comments and people give you, you know, encouraging um, comments, you will be motivated and compelled to do the second one and the third one and the fourth one. Yeah, so don't be camera shy. If you are shy to look directly into the camera, right, all you can do is that you just put the camera beside you and you do whatever you need to do. So don't have to be camera shy and eventually advances along the way. Then you want to have the camera in front of you, you look right into the lens like me, then you can do so. So most importantly, really, I mean, in life, I always talk about having fun and making things effective at the same time. So if some of you have seen the video that I've done yesterday to actually uh, garner the kind of uh, people to want to watch this Facebook Live, right? I did the whole video, including the shooting. Okay, I do one shot, one, one shoot only. And then I take about... 15 minutes to actually do the post editing and voila is here already so it's really not difficult yeah of course if you are talking about very comprehensive you want to put a lot of stock images you want to put a lot of stock video you want to do a lot of different variety then it might take a little bit more time but for me is that i like to do simple and effective video that bring across the message so it's simple yeah <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, Jocelyn, right. so, sorry, sorry, please. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so the thing is, right, uh, joyful is right. Do one minute video every day and you'll be comfortable. So the thing is, it's all about habits, you know. Uh, it's all about habits. Like, I think, example, if you started driving, if you are new to driving, you just got a license. When you first drive, you feel a bit clumsy, right? But as you drive, you get better and better. So it's the same thing. You know, this logic applies to everything we do. Just keep on doing it. When it becomes a habit in you, it becomes part of your life you'll feel very much comfortable and you don't have to worry about you know your camera shy you don't have enough equipment because you just want to get started every day example joseph you love running right every day you go jogging if there's one day you don't jog you feel uncomfortable so the same logic applies as well yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> I, I have my accountability uh, accountability partner kicking my ass every day so i have to jog <laughs> <laughs> yeah so but you see the thing is that we have shared with you so much right, over the one last uh, one and a half hour video is really definitely the way to go okay if you don't embark on video right you are losing out so don't singaporeans right we cannot lose out we must be always <laughs> advancing ourselves every single day okay i'm not talking about comp competition or competing huh? i'm just talking about being in trend and being setting the pace yeah okay so right now, uh, do you also have any more questions? We have about 30 of us here. If not, then I will just take some time to uh, five minutes to share about uh, creating videos, which doesn't require much conscientious effort about, you know, uh, being camera shy, etc. Joseph, remember about me talking about uh, documenting your journey? So you don't have yes. to create. Yeah, maybe you can go to the slides since we have 30 of them here. Maybe I can just like go through quickly as well. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah, you help me to go to the slide where um the first few slides is it yeah yeah where i was showing my video journey and then that's what i was doing with hdb sidetrack a bit lah, huh? but because we have 31 of us here so i think i can just share this yeah okay so for this video right um i actually have the honor to go down to hdb to do a sharing session for their home office uh, entrepreneurial uh, community so there were about 28 of them there so the thing is right i know right since i have this opportunity to be there i wanted to create some content so i hired a, a person you know who is taking photos for me videos for me and i just tell him, you know you don't have to do uh, great videos but just tell me to use my camera i pass in my own camera and document for me like you know so that you, i can also use this as an instant video insta insta story sorry Instagram story, I can also use this as videos, you know, piece them together. So this is something that you can try as well if you don't want to, you know, make your videos look like it's very deliberate, deliberate, yeah. So this is not deliberate, this is about, you know, it's like someone is following you on a journey as a passerby and then you document it. It's very much like Gary V style as well. So uh, that will probably ease a bit of the, the camera shy issues that you're talking about or the equipment issues that you're talking about, yeah. But this will require you to get out there and to get uh, uh, somebody to help you, yeah. So but it works both ways like if you are in the office you know you want to sh maybe shoot a video like oh a day in say joseph's life and you know, <laughs> what it looks like then you have your assistant or your staff following you around and it's not conscientious ma. yeah so this is something that y'all can try as well yeah. anything do you remember right just now when we were actually discussing before we came on live right one of the things that i told you about you know doing facebook live is that um remember i say that don't need to be professional okay so what we need to do is that we need to be authentic and we need to just share according to who yeah. we are right yeah. so i believe like when you are actually doing this video try right, um you are not the, the intention or the objective is not trying to maintain the most professional front right maybe you can share a little bit about like what went through your mind when you are taking the video hmm. okay so when I'm taking all these videos, right, actually at the end, if, if you look through my videos, I'm not selling anything. I'm just trying to share things that I learned from my daily life, uh, you know, encounters, etc. Uh, you know, because I, I do meet clients before the circuit breaker. So some of the things that I encounter with my clients, I just want to share as well. So maybe people who are also running an agency or people who also have, uh, who needs to meet clients as part and parcel of their life, they probably can resonate with me. And actually, the whole purpose of doing these videos, right? I know, I do, I do know that the organic reach is going to be very little. More so that we, I mean, we are posting this on business page, uh, Facebook ones, business pages to actually invest money to boost the the videos, right? So that they can earn money as well. So the thing is, uh, for me to do these videos is actually more of a branding thing because I want my prospects, you know, things like I mean, it's going to be like that when a prospect is checking you out, they look at your Facebook pages. 
then they will see oh this agency uh boss is not doing much uh, the founder is not doing much probably they are not so good uh, they're not so reputable as compared to another agency who is doing a lot of videos doing a lot of blogs and all that so that's my whole direction i want to get myself you know i want to instill that kind of um uh, authority and security for my prospects so that's my whole idea of doing videos is also to uh do sharing with uh uh fellow business owners it is to position myself uh, in the minds of my prospects yeah so that's where i'm coming from mm. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So I think today there's a lot of sharing already. We have went way past the time limit. Okay. So I just want to end off by saying really thank you so much Linting, for being here today with us and share yeah. about your valuable experience in taking videos and you know, creating very fun videos to inspire and also for business. So for the rest of you who are over here, I also thank you for your time to actually give us your attention to learn about this, to actually have fun with us, to have a lot of engagement, especially thanks to a lot of those people who have commented and have fun together, right? So I hope that this is something that is actually very beneficial and will bring value to you. Again, if you see that this video will help you or your friends or your business partner, please share the link with them and we will love to have more people to learn from this. Anything, over to you. Okay, so... Um... Thank you everyone so much for spending your precious evening with us. Uh, even though you're from home, your time is still money, it's still your resource, right? So thank you so much for staying with us throughout. And um, I just want to give a, a shout out to those who are already doing videos. You are actually doing a great job. And for those who are not getting started, right? It's okay. It's never too late to start, you know. After Circuit Breaker, COVID is still, I mean, there's still, we are talking about another one or two years for COVID to be over and people's attention will always still be on their phone. So go ahead and make the video. You will get better and better. Um, set yourself a target. If you think that you are very busy, you can't afford to do a video every day, do it once a week, do it twice a week. I mean, one, uh, uh, once every two weeks, that's good enough as well. Just need to get started. And then slowly, if you like it, you will consistently be doing more and, and better videos. Yeah. All right. So again, if you need someone to actually speak to you about your video journey, right? Okay. Uh, my profile on Facebook is called Joseph Go Life. Okay, so you can look for me or you can look for Yan Ting. Yan Ting is Yan Ting Lee, right? Yeah, yeah that's my that's my uh, personal page. So you can follow my business page, 11 August Media. I'll type it mm. here as well. So you can just take a look at the videos that I've been, I've been creating. I would say they are of expert standard, but I think uh, it's maybe kind of good for anyone who wants to get started to have like an inspiration, you know, how should the video be looking like? You know, what is the kind of uh, composition we are looking at? What is the kind of framing? Yeah. Well, okay, thank you so much. And we have seen that some of you has actually like asked us to go for part two and part three. Yeah? Okay, <laughs> I'll discuss with Yen Ting uh, offline. And I really, really thank you and really look forward to sharing with you next time. Thank you, Yen Ting. And with this, we'd like to wish you a good evening and bye-bye. Good night, everyone. Good night, bye-bye.